and the malolo. Very tasty. How you make a girl happy? Yeah. We are going to pull the genoa out. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. <laughs> We spent the last weeks with our Patreons setting what it's really like to live on Sylvia. It felt like real vacation to explore some of the most beautiful islands of Fiji. But every vacation comes to an end and after saying our goodbyes, it was time for us to get back to reality and back to work. It's soon we'll be back at work. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> no disrespect to anyone at work. <laughs> Five minutes now. It feels a bit weird. It's the first morning that Brett's not here. Uh, usually he would be up by now, starting to boil water uh, to make his coffee. But so today, there's no one there. And I remember in the beginning, the first day he came, he came on the boat, the first morning, I didn't expect him to be up. I didn't know he was an early person as well. So he came up the stairs and then at first I didn't really like it because I really like my peace and quiet in the mornings. And then we both noticed that we're exactly the same in the morning and we don't talk. We just want to wake up gently for the first half an hour at least. So once we realized that it was all alright. Um, but now there's no coffee. And the Malolo uh, to was it Smuggler's Cove? Uh, Musket Cove. Musket Cove. Yeah. Smuggler's Cove, I love it. How's the wind situation, Nate? It's a perfect sail. We've got 18 to 23 knots, which is very uncommon in the lee of the island. I don't know if we'll maybe when we get further in and behind the island, maybe it'll die off. But right now we are charging in at about nine knots towards Malolo Island. We're not going to move the boat for two weeks. So we're just going to get some work done, people are going to go play, and it'll be like a good home base. Will you carry me like I am holding? What about you, Isor? Are you excited? Very excited. Yeah, yeah. what was like, your? I like this area of Fiji. There are very beautiful reefs, many things to do, many sailors. We can surf, we can do hiking, we can meet local people as well from the Manukas. So it's a very interesting place. Yeah. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. All gone. We fixed our salt water pump problems, but still uh, the bilges in the last sail uh, collapsed again. The water comes from the main bilge that's under the engine to the starboard side bilge. It's a hose no? that we can close it, but that's not the problem because uh, every time that we are sailing and it, the boat is uh, leaning, leaning yeah. this bilge is, is getting full all the time. So I think that it's a connection between the sea and our boat. The main problem is that it's coming water from the sea underneath the engine. Okay. That's a connection. What are you doing here? No, it's getting, a great tiny space for you, actually. I'm getting sweaty, that's what I'm doing up in here. Uh, but I'm actually going to fix the problem because I'm installing vans. 
Um, so just splicing and dicing some wires and then I'll mount the fans and then I'll be not sweaty anymore. Luxury. I'm very, very, very happy with this. How do you make a girl happy? I'm quite excited and nervous because we are going to pull the Genoa out so we can measure it. What are we measuring the sails today? We're going to get brand new sails. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. We're working with Precision Sails out of Canada. Uh, I know those guys. Um, I actually met them when I was on Delos, and so I've seen their sails in action. I know they work great. But I found something really cool about our sails, and that is that they come from the Rainbow Warrior, Greenpeace's boat. Uh, so whenever it got sank, somehow they were acquired by Bernard uh, to get put into our sails. So they have a lot of history, and those are going to be our backup sails. So that's a cool fact, all right? Yeah. Plan, Emily. The plan is to fold this gigantic sail and bring it on land to measure it, but the space is limited on Sylvia to fold it. So, well, are you a folder or a scrum a folder? Don't swipe my butt. <laughs> <Too early. Too laughs> <early. Too early. laughs> Here's this French thing we call Petit Roulet Suisse. Looks like that, but bigger. I'm holding it. Hold by the ribs. Yeah, I'll hold it. Okay. Oh! 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 Good. Oh my god! I, I thought... thought you were a machine. Yeah. I was Daddy so comes. afraid for Etor. I saw the look in his eyes, like be careful with me. He was under the thing that weighs I don't know how much, and I was like, oh, Etor. <laughs> we already pulled down the Genoa. It was a challenge to fold it here on the deck. There's not enough room to measure it on the boat, so we've tacked it up into the dinghy and we're... Everybody's ready. Okay, how we move it? We have a meal. Oh, we have a meal here. Let's see what we have here. How's your little Sam, hand? Your How's your little thumb? Cuckoo! Um, yeah, it's doing okay. It's taking time. Normal. It was quite an operation. We are in a call with Ocean, one of Sylvia's original crew members, but she injured her wrist in an accident and sadly she had to fly back home to have surgery. She took the same time to put back the bone <laughs> than doing all the stuff here. Yeah. yeah. Like, they said about six months to mm -hmm. be able to use it about like before. Yeah. What are you doing now these days? Taking care of children, doing the job, to be able to have my uh, formation, uh, my internship uh, next year. Boat banker? Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, you look good, Josiane. Yeah. It's good yeah. to see you. We, we miss you, though. <laughs> We talk about you all the time. <laughs> Are we gonna catch up into it one day? We will. Yeah, we, we will. will. Well, buddy boat. Our boat and your boat that you built. So we are gonna put here in the starboard side 
the Genoa and we are going to hoist it with the winch. We have to do it quickly. Yeah. Once when we hoist it, Philip is going to put the shackle yeah. and we're going to tie it here quickly. And yeah. once when it's finished, we are going to run it. Cool. What's our biggest What's our biggest hazards we need to watch probably out that for? Boat right there. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll probably have the engine on just for to be careful. I love when you are like calm, but you have like little face worried. Like it's like yeah. mm, I need to check that everything is okay. <laughs> I was a little bit worried at first, just because we're in quite a busy anchorage to be putting the sails up, but I think we're all right. What's, uh, do you know what's going on up top? Um, Philip needs to reattach it, and so we have to pull it up with the winch, and then he can attach it and it can just hang where it used to hang. Way up there. After all the hard work, we went to enjoy another beautiful sunset in Fiji. We just pulled into a bar and they didn't let us tie up the dinghy to the bar, so we had to take him over. <laughs> and one volunteer had to swim back from the water. Join us next week to get immersed in a daily routine of the crew of Sylvia. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we've done a, another crew cast, so we did a podcast with one of our crew, Aitor. And if you would like to check that out and listen to a little bit of his backstory and maybe a little bit of information about the Basque Country, uh, you can go over to our website, uh, expeditiondrench.org. And under the, um, under the podcast section, you will find that podcast, or hopefully you're able to find it on iTunes or wherever you download your podcast. So, you want to show that link? Yeah, yeah hold it, hold it! Yeah, yeah. What are you up to? What is it to be the success man on the podcast? It's very hard. And you have to deal with all the, you know, all, all the ladies. You just can't <laughs> go anywhere. People touching you. When we go on shore, it's true. Full of groupies. Yeah, I am. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Other side. Okay. Other side. Put up. Oh, yeah. oh my god, a new perspective. What's it? What happened? Can you feel it? Ooh, it's soft. Mm, no. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Curl that brow, baby. You gonna do a trimily? Oh. Are you gonna make a, a funny shape in there, like a penis or something? I'm gonna do a morning <laughs> boil. <laughs> they were looking for food. <laughs> Master of camouflage. <laughs>